no nation which expects to be the leader of other nations can expect to stay behind in this race for space. Hello and welcome to the Terran Space Academy, where we help prepare you for a bright future in the space industry. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we appreciate your support on Patreon. Thank you. The human mind is an amazing thing. It has created incredible works of art and incredible works of engineering. I think the greatest engineering achievement of humanity were the seven Apollo missions to the moon. I include Apollo 13 in that count, because while they did not reach their destination due to an unfortunate explosion on the service module, the fact that they made it back alive is a testament to the courage of the crew and the brilliance of the NASA engineers that brought them home. But Apollo was also the end of an era, a time when slide rules and human intellect calculated all the perimeters upon which human lives depended. By the time of the next great achievement in spaceflight, the American Space Transportation System, better known as the Space Shuttle, lifted into the skies, human intellect alone was not good enough. Computer simulations were necessary to design the shuttle system. These systems had matured to where they could calculate airflow simultaneously over multiple surfaces, calculating the changing effects of subsonic, transonic, supersonic, and hypersonic flight. Computer systems were also used to fly the space shuttle, as no human could make all the adjustments necessary to keep an aerodynamically unstable system in the air. The Space Shuttle remains a remarkable achievement of human engineering, but without the help of computers, it is very likely the space transportation system would not have been possible. And that brings us to today's subject. Artificial intelligence, especially ChatGPT4 and its relatives, has taken the world's attention by storm. These neural net systems are amazingly adept at compiling information into a useful format which brings us to two recent AI-driven breakthroughs that impact the space industry. On May 5th, a multidisciplinary team at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland, reported having discovered a novel superconductor using artificial intelligence. According to the article released by the laboratory, the key to this breakthrough came through combining material science expertise and real data into a predictive AI model which vastly accelerated the timeline of targeted materials discovery. The system used is called Mithril, for material invention through hypothesis unbiased real-time interdisciplinary learning. The system allows the combined expertise and creativity of materials researchers and computer scientists to discover materials in a targeted fashion. The AI is used to work backward from the desired material properties to the most likely combination of elements that might produce that result, working backward through the possibility space. AI is especially well suited to this challenge for two reasons. First, the sheer number of possible materials makes the task almost inconceivably time-consuming for humans. Second, while both humans and computers reason from what is known, computers can be trained to systematically sample the unknown. This second reason is a big part of why the Johns Hopkins AI team chose superconductors as a test case. Again, according to the article, there are enough known superconductors and enough is known about their material composition that untested compositions with high potential to be novel superconductors can be identified and targeted by the AI system. To train the AI, the team used publicly available data sets of superconductors. All of this research was originally done by humans, with normal human biases that always exist. So the team taught the AI to search for evidence of these biases and systematically adjust its evaluations to compensate for them, allowing the AI to look for possible solutions missed by humans. This allowed the AI to identify a novel superconductor that is an alloy of zirconium, indium, and nickel. While this new material does not operate at warm temperatures, Having a superconducting transition temperature around 9 Kelvin, its discovery, including fabrication of multiple candidate materials, 
took only three months, clearly demonstrating the revolutionary potential of AI-enabled targeted discovery in material science, allowing us to develop the materials we need at a drastically faster pace than was previously possible. According to Leslie Hamilton, an APL senior scientist who helps manage the science of extreme and multifunctional materials program, using AI systems like these in the space industry will open incredible research opportunities. It will soon be possible for an aerospace engineer to speak directly to an AI system, telling it what end result is needed. The AI will then be trained with all known technology and will start designing a system that meets the criteria and gets the job done. There is, in fact, a company already doing this, called Hyperganic. This company is on the cutting edge of AI technology. Hyperganic is a specialist in engineering design software, using a development platform for algorithmic engineering called Hyperganic Core. Hyperganic Core allows engineers to build object generation workflows using algorithms that provide more control and flexibility in the design process. Systems like those developed by Hyperganic can allow us to work on what had seemed to be insurmountable problems, like rotating detonation and aerospike engines. These engines would dramatically increase our spaceflight possibilities if we can get them to work. Rotating detonation engines are discussed in this lesson, and aerospikes in these. One of the problems with aerospike engines is heat buildup, requiring very efficient cooling channels. AI can help us design these channels. These designs can end up having a beautiful organic symmetry. Here is an aerospike rocket engine designed using the Hyperganic Core AI system. The system produced hundreds of viable designs in a matter of days. Then these designs were compared and one was chosen for testing. Printed first using an alloy of nickel and chromium called Inconel 718. Then a larger one was printed by a company called EOS using an alloy composed of copper, chromium, and zirconium on an AMCM M4K printer. This massive metal 3D printer uses four 1000 watt lasers to print metal objects up to 45 centimeters in diameter and one meter tall. The founder of EOS, Dr. Hans Longer, calls this design process algorithmic engineering. This is just the dawn of AI assisted design. More recently, the team at Johns Hopkins has started working on the task of generating materials not found in any libraries. They've used a type of neural network known as the Generative Adversarial Network, which relies on two AI systems working independently, but then collaborating to compare their findings, to output potential material structures and assess how feasible they are. Having two independent neural net processing systems evaluating the data and collaborating on a solution is a brilliant design, one that evolution thought of long ago. There are two hemispheres in most animals' brains. In humans, these hemispheres communicate with each other through a fiber network bundle called the corpus callosum. These hemispheres work together to help us navigate our lives, but they develop quite different talents. One, the left hemisphere in most people, is the logical, reasoning, and mathematical side controlling the understanding and processing of speech, for example. While understanding and producing music and recognizing faces is usually a specialty of the right hemisphere. In 37% of the American population, the left hemisphere is dominant. In 29%, it's the right hemisphere. In the last 34%, the two hemispheres exert equal influence on decision-making. So as these AI systems develop, now also using two independent neural nets. They begin to more and more mimic the living systems that built them in the first place. It is amazing to think about what we might accomplish in the near future with the help of artificial intelligence. Something to think about. Thanks for listening and stay safe at Astroproterra.